Hello and welcome to another Doctor's System 1 video and today I'm reviewing the 11th Doctor's uh, Sonic Screwdriver. Before I actually start, I think the YouTuber's name's called Vote Saxon, I think, but um, I'm just saying that I think you should um, sort of view some of his videos if you really want really high quality in-depth reviews of Sonic Screwdrivers. Sonic Screwdriver... Uh, Sonic screwdrivers and that, um, but yeah, because I'm not an expert on them and I'm not showing you the packaging and stuff like that, whereas he goes through tons of stuff like the packaging, loads of the details, how accurate they are to the on-screen one, blah blah blah, so on, and you know, just, um, he, he's really good at what he does, but I, I think my action figure reviews are on par with his but my sonic screwdriver sort of reviews his are all the way like up there and mine are like down there you know but that's just me but if you like my sonic screwdriver review then or reviews then you can keep continue watching them there's no complaints from me anyway on the sonic screwdriver you've got just this bronze sort of material like plastic uh, coat, and you've got the white bit, which is actually accurate to the 11th Doctor's, then you've got the black bit, then you've got the silver mesh, and bronze, again, where it leads up to the sort of, like, clamps that are locked on this one, you can't open them, it's the, uh, Wave 2 one, which was 9 99 which is unfortunate, um, I thought it was, um, I thought you could extend it, but you can't, sort of a grill at the bottom, which is, uh, where the sound comes from, so like, if I put my pinky over it, it makes it kind of muffled, But yeah, that's the sound, and the light flashes. Okay, you get the drift, but yeah. It's uh, nice and slick and pretty long and thick. And um, the thing that I do like about the toy line is most of the Sonic screwdrivers feel like they have a weight to them. This one feels a bit more light like airy like I'm not really holding anything but if I grip it really tight and it kind of feels like I'm holding something a bit more but compared to the fourth doctor's one I don't really have to do that as much with the fourth doctor's one but um yeah and the button is just there my thumb is but um yeah no it would be nice if it if you like double tapped it it activated a different sound or something like that and then you've got the battery compartment there. It comes with batteries and the uh, sort of mumbo jumbo garbage that's on there. Um, but yeah, it is a shame though that it's not extendable. But uh, but the extendable one's like sixteen quid, which is uh, quite expensive considering that this is just nine ninety nine. And I wanted one to put up on the shelf to display uh, with my. 10th Doctor one, which doesn't work anymore, which is a shame, but yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, I really like it, and I like it just displayed here, to be honest. It's um, nice for display purposes, uh, but obviously it's best if you're messing around and sonicking things and going with stuff, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I also wanted it so that when I am cosplaying as the uh, 11th Doctor uh, that I would have the Sonic screwdriver with me and it just adds to that sort of detail uh, although it's not obviously part of uh, the costume it's sort of like a like a sword to a knight you know like the sword to a knight is like an extension of his arm to me in my head the sort of extension to the Doctor's sort of mind and costume is his sonic screwdriver you know he uses it to get out of um uh odd little uh sticky situations so yeah 
Um, yeah, it's really nice. The aesthetics are really nice, and you know you got the different parts of said Sonic Screwdriver. You know you got one, two, one, two, three, four, five kind of different parts to the Sonic Screwdriver. So it's not really as aesthetically boring as the classic designs, although they are extremely screen accurate. Um, and this one is too. So yeah. Uh, they've even added, just one little thing before I wrap this up, they've even added, like, bolts there, like, little bolts around the, uh, sort of, um, clamp bits that clamp onto the nib bit of the, uh, Sonic Screwdriver, so yeah, as always, thanks for watching, comment, rate, and subscribe.